Hello, I'm Lauren Lorette with Evo from Forest River, and we're standing outside of our brand new 2023-2792. Let's go inside and take a look. So moving to the inside, you can see our beautiful kitchen. We have solid surface, gray countertops. Uh, these are actually LG from, uh, that you can buy for your house. We have a huge farmhouse style uh, sink with a huge pull off and pull down uh, spray faucet. You see all the counter space here, you see all the counter space back here, but you also have counter space with both of these sink covers that go on here so you can have even more counter space, all right? We also have a three burner suburban stove with a glass countertop. Again, if you need it, you can use that for counter space. So tons of uh, cabinet space, tons of drawer space all around the kitchen. We have a Dometic eight cubic foot dual power refrigerator, um, a uh, one uh, cubic foot microwave. And then when I come over here, I've got a huge four shelf pantry that you for all of your stuff you get all your pots and pans all your cereal everything that you need right over here I've got the dinette seats for solid solid tabletop and again storage is one of the things that customers are always looking for in RVs you never have enough when you're out uh, camping so I've got each one of my dinettes open up I've got these huge crates inside of them just next to the dinette, we have a fold down sofa. Also, I didn't mention that the dinette also makes into a bed as well. This makes into his bed. And then underneath the sofa, we've got more storage. There's three of these under here actually. So tons of storage for you. Uh, you can never have too much storage. Coming over here, we've got the TV wall. There's actually a backing here so you can mount a TV if you want to. All the hookups are here. You have a full AM, FM, DVD, CD player. Bluetooth, and it's wired to the TV. Uh, fireplace, and the fireplace actually puts out a little bit of heat, it's not just for looks. Coming over here, we've got the, uh, I've got two nice, really nice recliners, completely recline back and relax. Um, lots and lots of windows in here. We have them closed for light right now because of the camera, but there's six windows in here all the way around, tons of windows so you can see the view. All right, the bathroom's right in here. I have a good size shower with a 36 by 36 square shower. One of the larger showers out there, especially in a stick and tin trailer. It has a, uh, the shower curtain comes across and it's solid, not one of those loose, just curtains, actually a good curtain. You've got a good, a good toilet in there. It's stainless steel fixtures a mirror, medicine cabinet, a skylight over the shower for the taller people, and a uh, fan in there to uh, get rid of all the uh, moisture in the air. All right, the 2792 actually comes with an RV king size bed. And I'll, I'll challenge you to find a better quality mattress in a stick and tin trailer. You have shirt closets on either side of the bed. You also have, and this is something that we put all over the trailer, multiple USB outlets. And there's actually two per side. So if you have a phone and a watch and you want to charge both or whatever else, you also have one tin outlet outlets on both sides of the bed. Cabinets above for your clothes. On the off cabin side of the bed, you have a uh, laundry sheet over here. It goes outside so your laundry is not cluttered up to place while you're trying to camp and enjoy yourselves. And one thing you'll notice about Evo is everywhere you stand in the trailer, you can reach a light. All right, all of my Evos come with a power front jack so you're not cranking on it and ruining your shoulders. They come with power stabilizer jacks all the way around. Again, so you're not cranking on them manually and hurting your shoulders. Uh, you've got a battery disconnect on the other side. So it's one, of the bad, one of the big things with RVs is maintaining your batteries when you're not using it. So this has a battery disconnect on the other side, which allows you to completely disconnect the battery from the rest of the coach so that whatever's inside the coach that you might've left on is not killing your battery. The other thing that I have to mention when I mention that is that we have a 190 watt solar panel on top of all of my Evos, almost all of my Evos. Um, and that solar panel is hooked up past uh, the battery disconnect so that even when you've got the battery disconnect turned off it's still charging your batteries your front this is a front 18 gauge thick aluminum with aluminum uh, with uh, automotive paint on it and this down here is textured to guard from rocks being kicked up from your tow vehicle we have two two 30 pound tanks lp tanks inside instead of the little five gallon ones so we're, we're giving you everything that you need so one thing about the Evo also, the majority of the floor plans have massive pass-through stores all the way through the other side. You can put fishing poles, water hoses, whatever it is that you need in there. We've also, we finished the inside, so it's not raw. If you look inside there, we do have a, a wall, the wallboard and everything, just like inside the coach. So we try to keep everything nice looking and clean. There's also lights in there, touch lights. You just push them and they come on so you can see what you're doing if it's after dark. 
All of our decals are 3M, which is a major company. I'm sure everybody's heard of it. And they have UVA and UVB protectors in them to keep them looking, long, uh, looking good for longer. Uh, again, I covered the stab jacks already. We have power awnings. The awning comes out and then the LED lights are against the coach instead of being on the outside of the awning so you can use it even when the awning's put away. I have a quick connect LP detector. If you want to bring your own grill or anything and connect it to the LP, it just pops right in there underneath and then it uses the LP out of the front of the coach so you don't have to bring an extra tank just for your uh, grill. You have your metal steps, three steps. A friction door, a friction hinge door, which means I don't have to have anything else ugly on the side of the coach to hold it on when I open it, when I open it, or hold it open rather. When I open it, it just stays there from friction. And then a great big entry handle so you can hold on to it. All right, every single one of my, of my Evos have a doggy uh, leash catch. And underneath here, you can't really see it from where we're standing, but there's a hook that you can hook the dog's leash on so you can have him out here and he can be with the family without bugging your neighbors. We keep our speakers down low. We have marine grade out, uh, exterior speakers. We keep them down low for a reason. A lot of the guys will put them up high. What happens is you can't really hear them if you're sitting out here enjoying the, enjoying the outdoors. You end up turning it up too loud and it bothers your neighbors. So we put these down, down low. You're sitting out here in your lounge chairs, they're right there, you don't have to have them too loud. Uh, we also have, the outside of the coach has cable outlets. It has 110 outlets. Uh, it, I already mentioned the, the uh, LP outlet. We use Gladiator tires, which Ford actually puts on their trucks. Our axles are flipped, which gives us a little higher ground clearance so that you're not dragging the tail when you're coming out of those steep uh, driveways. Over here, one nice feature we have on the 2792 is actually a slide out griddle and griddles are all the rage right now, right? Everybody's talking about Blackstone and griddling. We have a portable outside griddle that's built in, comes right out. And then it, right above that, we've got an out exterior refrigerator for all your soft drinks, beers, whatever it is you, whatever it is you like. These are, these are just your various connections. This right here is your exterior shower. You can hose off the kids after they go to the beach, wash off the dog, whatever you need to do. That's your furnace, hot water heater. On the back of the coach here, we were set up for, we're pre-wired for a uh, backup camera. And we're also pre-wired or pre, uh, we have a mount there to put a ladder on if you, if you choose to have a ladder. Thank you guys for joining us today and ch to check out our uh, Evo 2792. If you have any other questions, please go to our website, forestriverinc.com slash Evo. You guys have a great day.